Now, to save even more time from having to cut each one of those out, and again, this is for experienced quilters only. I do not recommend this for beginners. But if you are experienced and know how to fix any errors later, then this is good for you to do to save time. Typically, on average, and you do run into a bad luck and something's off, typically on average, this will tear down that crease perfectly. Even if you didn't make the crease, the fabric has a grain, which is what this is for. It's to show you which way the grain goes. So the grain goes like this. So when you are cutting or sewing, you want to sew against the grain. It's, it's not as important to cut, uh, sew against the grain for quilts. But if you're making clothing, it's extremely crucial that when you're sewing, you're sewing against that grain. And this is to show you the grain of the fabric. Now... For quilts, it don't matter. You sew it any way you want. But, um, cutting, when you, when you are doing this, the fabric will tear straight almost every time if you're tearing it against that fabric. So, I got the extra bonus of making a nice seam there to keep it straight. But let me show you how fast this is from having to sit here and go and make sure that's up in that crease right and go across like that. Voila! I just saved five minutes at least. Uh, for this small piece of fabric, uh, let's say two minutes would be more fair. But if I had a longer piece and stuff, I just saved, you know, two to five minutes worth of cutting time. Right there. I tore it across. And voila, I've got my two pieces. Now I'm going to put these two pieces together. Or I can do one by myself. One by itself depends on how good you are and how accurate. I can do them each individually and fold them in half. Or I can put them together, fold them in half, and tear the creases out of them again. I'm going to do it doubled up to save more time, but I just wanted to show that's another way that you can do it and save time. And you just keep folding the fabric and keep on going down those creases.